and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Soraka. That's right. We're having some fun playing two cool support champions with Lulu and Soraka and really just play a support themed deck. We're going to have some other support cards like Herald of Springs, Mentor of the Stones in here, even Mountain Sojourners at the top end. That's a 2-5 that has support. Grant my support ally plus 2 plus 2 like Mentor of the Stones does. But if it has support, then it continues to grant its support ally plus 2 plus 2 and you just go on down the chain. Um, so we're going to have a lot of support stuff. Um, Soraka will be healing our damaged ally. So if we're supporting and attacking and surviving the attack, then they'll be damaged. And then the next time we attack, Soraka will reheal them. This will be pretty interesting. This was a viewer submitted deck list um, here. Like we got a lot of viewer submitted deck list today. Um, so I haven't played this one yet, but it looks pretty cool. Um, it does have Herald of Spring in here. And I'm not sure if that's better than Tiari, honestly. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Um, we should be pretty good against aggro decks with having that lifesteal and like guiding touch and and resplendent stellacorn and stuff like that like so we should be pretty good against aggro hopefully that's what we uh, end up facing i do really like rush as a combat spell whenever you're attacking with a card like lulu and they block with their three three and you can use rush to help um you know help that out so let's go ahead and give this a try let's see how we do here with lulu saranka this one looks pretty interesting. We're going to be taking on over to Ranked. Ooh, we got a, quite the test here with Twisted Fate, Aphelios. Two of the very best champions in the game. Let's go with just one Flower Child to start with. It's so quite the test for our little Lulu Soraka deck. Aww. Thanks, Sensei. Sensei? Sensei. Do you think our opponents could be sad if they lose this? If they're playing Twisted Fate Aphelios with like the Aphelios sleeves and like they had their like triple mastered with their cards. Um, and if they end up losing to like Flower Child and Herald of Spring. You think they're gonna be sad? Preach, is that a family frog? Oh my gosh! Go on, Rand! You told me to say hello. Hello. Yeah, they even got prismatics and like TCG in the name. They're like hardcore over here. <laughs> If we win, that's going to be pretty crazy. And we don't even have, like, either of our champions in our hands. This would be pretty crazy if we win this game. Pretty unlikely that's going to happen, but... That'd be you. You'd look like that Rennington emote. <laughs> That is a good emote. That ranked an emote. They're looking at all their awesome cards in their hand, and they're like, what am I supposed to do with all these awesome cards against all these all these mediocre cards? I don't want to use any of these awesome cards on these mediocre cards. That's what they're thinking right now. So hope that we can keep this support train going. Really hoping no Twisted Fate goal card. What's the win con of the deck? Yeah, I guess just buff stuff and attack. I'm always up for a round or two. Lame. Hold it, partner. No breaks till the next flip top. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean that's that's our only way to win is just attacking. Mephistopheles! Second month now for that resub. Thank you so much. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for dropping by, getting that resub going. That's very nice of you. Believe or burn. 
Yeah, we're obviously not a good deck against Hush, right? Like, we're, we're doing, like, all the buff stuff. Yeah, like, we're... <laughs> this has to be a terrible matchup for us. They have Aphelios and Twisted Fate and Hush, and I'm not playing, like, removal. But that's all right. We're going to try. Hopefully no Pell Cascade. Just, just let it happen. That's too bad. Yeah, if we if we beat Twisted Fate of Felios with Herald of Spring, that'd be crazy. <laughs> oh man! All right, their cards are maybe a little better than ours. I just go for it play this other stuff it it would hurt if i play stuff it hurts if they have stun cards mm, i could be equinox or i guess all right so i guess it's probably one of the spells it's either equinox or the double stun so i guess i can't afford to play mention the stones Yeah, so Jerner puts a lot of stats out here, but they still, like, they have a million cards. They're going to stay alive here. Twisted Fate's about to level up. I, I don't really see any outcome of us winning this game. But it was fun. We got to do some cool stuff. We got to do some cool Sojourner stuff. Yeah, yeah, we... Can't really reload yet without Soraka. Need Soraka for that card draw. But I mean. <laughs> As darkness falls, yeah. the moon rises. Those champions are a lot better than our commons. Yeah, I mean, I would have healed just, like, this thing to push damage, though. I'd rather heal, like, these other things afterwards. Okay, well, we got Mentor of the Stones. A crescent path opens before us. Tell me, Sage, what does my future hold? Uh, vision hazy. Please ask again later. I, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought... Didn't, didn't you have a donation deck for Sejuani... The three sisters, right? Like Sejuani and Ash and Lissandra together. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me, Sage, what does my future hold? Uh, vision hazy. Please ask again later. Felios is not a fair card. <laughs> it's it's just laughable how good their cards are, and how how embarrassing it makes it make our deck look. 
just how good their cards are. I mean, might as well just attack, I guess. Uh. Tell me, Sage, what is my future? I mean, it's just gonna be more moon weapons. Uh, boo! Thank you, Boo. Thanks for keeping that sub going. Oh, it's all good, Jordan. I'm, I'm just happy you're here. I'm, yeah, I'm just happy you're here. It's all good. You can't afford to subscribe. Just being here and chatting and talking and everything. All right, own one. Opponent's cars were pretty good. No, back to Targon, another Hush region. Another region with a bunch of Celestials and great at playing defense. We do have champions this time. So that's a start. They both cost three. So I don't know if we can keep Mentor the Stones that also cost three. <laughs> it's okay, Jordan. You can change your username on Twitch in the settings. You can change it like once every six months or something like that. Alright, so having the Star Shepherd be damaged so that we can heal it. But we don't need to give it life steal for zero. Caring for the stars shows their true potential. I can't wait to see them when they're all grown up. Why does everybody got Equinox? Why does everybody got gotta have Equinox? Huh? I don't like it. Makes Raka four six. Or make the two two a four four. I guess probably make the two two a four four is probably better. See, so yeah, I could I could make the O two a four four. But I'm, I'm healing it to to try to get to the Soraka leveled up, and so I know it's gonna die. But you know, it's just like a O3 or whatever. But that was my thinking: is just try to go towards that Soraka level up. Did they grab another? Equinox? I really hope not. I want to play the Sojourners. I guess we could just play the Stellicorn. I can play the Sojourners next turn. But then if they grabbed Stun. So, I mean, I need to attack with the O3... Because for two reasons, one, it leveled up. Like I needed to attack with it to level up my Lulu, so that my Lulu was a three-four, so, so it wasn't just a two-three, so they couldn't kill the Lulu. But then it also helped level up the Soraka. But yeah, I, I had to attack with that O3. I hope they didn't grab the double stun card. That's what it kind of feels like. I hope not. No, it was Equinox. Even worse. Stop with all these Equinoxes. 
Come on. Hmm. Get up now. The safer play for keeping Lulu alive is like barrier barrier Lulu, because they can, you know, pill cascade or whatever and block and kill Lulu. Here. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Man, that's how they equinox for the mountain sojourners. Tell me, Sage, what does my future hold? Uh, vision hazy. Please ask again later. Okay. Celestial power. You gave me no choice. Stay focused. Let's do this. Looks kind of like they're just trying to stay alive for like Daybreak Dragon and then Aurelian Soul. This kind of deck is definitely playing the uh, the Aurelian Soul Champion spell card. Hmm. Alright, Soraka, draw some cards for me, please. I wish I could just play my new champions over those ones. But if they attack with the 8 8, we get to whimsy it. Attack with the 8 8, come on. Yeah. Good attack. And that's why I, I don't want to use barrier because then that then they just don't attack if I use the barrier card. So I wanted to incentivize them to attack. Live with purpose. Take heart. Ooh, I love flying vegetables. They're fast and great for tummy rumbles. Good job, Whimsy. That was a great whimsy. Okay, let's see what we got. Alright, so you can make you quick attack. Who pumps up you? Who pumps up? Uh, actually, hmm. Let's. Let's go this way. And you can give... No, it doesn't really matter. The rest of these don't really matter. Okay. Like, the three power is my, my least amount of attack. 
It's whether or not I want to have damaged things to be able to heal. If they hush, this will still be two power. It's not going to be a one six because it is leveled up, so it'll be two power still. There we go. All right, Lulu Soraka. That's a big time win. That's a big win right there. Beating Zoe Aurelian Soul. That's a good deck. Good win. Hmm. Same matchup. This, I think, this is the same opponent. I think. I think. Um, I want to keep the rush. Yeah, we're in Diamond 2 right now. Yep. Okay. Stop eating or no more walkies. Good card. Good card to support. And so, like, I, I don't play anything on turn 2. I can, like, hold up the Pale Cascade mana. Then I can play Lulu on 3 with Pale Cascade slash Rush for protection. I better not keep grabbing Equinox. Alright, wasn't Equinox, wasn't the 2 1 Challenger either. Ah, uh, it was Equinox. Come on. <laughs> Why? We faced like five Equinoxes in our two games and three turns. Just crazy amount of Equinox. We beat the same deck that we're playing right now, Look, and I think we played against the same opponent. We just beat this deck, and now we got repaired against it. And Grand Plaza, good. To heal and protect. Wow. Well, thankfully they did that. I want something really cheap, like a, a one drop. Mm, I need like a a unit really cheap. I guess I want Lulu to be elusive. You, uh, you lost him again. We'll find him. You leave me no choice. Take her. Maybe I should have chose Soraka to be elus elusive. I fight for the fallen. That's fine. Strike for justice. I understand. Cool. Working towards our Soraka level up. Hmm. Samo! You, uh, seen Vix lately? You lost him again? We'll find him. Alright, let's see how we're gonna do this. Let's give you vulnerable. I just like support these two different things. But the other way around. Sorry, I meant to do you, you, you. Oh, no, 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 I, got to, I had to do that afterwards. No, I meant to. No. I had to do that afterwards. 
All right, they had hush anyway. All right, wouldn't matter. Um. All right, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I kind of messed that up. All right, so Soraka levels up. Because like we don't we don't have Hush ourselves, and this Radiant Guardian is just gonna keep on getting bigger. They just drew the two dragons. Um, we know that they have Infinite Mind Splitter for a dragon. I don't know how like we won the last time, but I don't really know how we, we're gonna beat like Infinite Mind Splitter and stuff like that again. And, like these kind of cards, it's gonna be tough pulling this off again. I wish they just had all like single combats and concerted strikes. <laughs> I, have, I have all these things that we need to to use to counter stuff. Alright, you can support, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully they grab the spells, like the, the big celestial spells, and I can counter them. Probably kind of risky. That's probably unnecessarily risky. I'll just block with this thing. That's gonna level up though, exact this is gonna level up. Oh, it's exactly twenty-five. The good thing about this leveling up is that if they have another expensive spell, it will cost zero, so it does turn on Nopify. So you know like we can Nopify another one of those things. So that's kinda cool. How much do I have? Three. It's like how much is this? Okay, so that's the, that's enough to kill him. Um. I guess I want it to take damage. Hope no nopifies or or ugh. gross. I didn't say that or the the two man Demacia spell. So I'm down to one. Ugh, so close.
I said, if my top card was Rush or Pale Cascade, maybe I should have tried. Let's see. Okay, would have been Venture of the Stones. Uh, the second card would have been Rush. But, you know, we wouldn't have been able to draw two. We would have only drawn one. So we wouldn't have drawn that Rush. Okay, well, that's all I got with these. Darn. So close. Put him down to one. So close. But really until the... All right, not Targon. Good. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're definitely going to win or anything like that. I'm just happy that we're not playing against Targon. All right, so we do have the attack token on the odd turns. Um, but we'll mulligan those two. Keep, keep a one, keep a five. Ooh, I was looking for the in between the twos and threes. All fours and fives is not great. Best card to Fey Guide. Let them see me. I go, I go. Obviously, we'll use the Pale Cascade. We'll see if they have like the plus three, plus one, or anything like that. Troll Chant. sense to just attack into that. I'm just going to be passing here. Don't know if Nopify is going to hit anything in their deck. The Dwani's still awesome. I don't think Nopify actually has any targets. I think it's a dead card. Just a little farther. Brace yourselves. Live with purpose. Prove your worth. I'm really glad they're not having the 6-7 block the Sojourners. I'm very happy about that. Whoa. Okay, that's a little much. That's a little too furious for me. Where are 
you add two. This is round start, right? Yeah, so I won't just be able to create one of those. Stop. Ouch. <laughs> Stand and fight. Definitely could have just gone for lethal with both of those exhausts and with this thing already having vulnerable. Yeah, like we should already be dead, but... Um, yeah, still, it should be game anyway. So if I play this, we have four mana for Whimsy, then I have three extra mana. Help picks, rush. I'll get us to the peak, no matter what it takes. Would you look at this place? Stay focused. Faster. Yeah, I guess. I know if they have like a good amount of combat tricks, like I can't really beat combat tricks, you know, right? Like, I think this is what I kind of have to do here and hope they don't have combat way. tricks. Over there. I really hope this doesn't mean another Sejuani in hand. Because obviously a Sejuani would just even be like a Fury of the North, which I can't beat. Or it's just Troll Chant. Couldn't beat combat tricks. GG's. Okay. Alright, Lissandra Trundle. Let's see how we do here. Okay, all of our three mana cards. You're gonna go... And I guess you go too. We... I mean, I really like Pell Cascade, but we do need a, a one, you know, either a one or a two mana unit. Hopefully a one mana unit. Ugh. It's a little greedy for me keeping the Pell Cascade. Okay, a two mana unit. Not the best, but not the worst. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah. I didn't think they'd be able to kill Lulu for three mana, but I guess maybe they're sitting on Avalanche. Secrets hidden by Frost. No, stop. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. Not really beating Avalanche. This is the play that levels up Lulu this turn. This does look like av like this block just says avalanche, right? And like how they played before, this this says avalanche. So this would um, this would kill everything except for Lulu. Like the only way to block, the only reason to block like this is avalanche. So let's give the pill cascade to Lulu so Lulu doesn't die. Yeah, and that's avalanche.
Right, am I even going to nopify anything else? Yeah, I'd be very happy with the Lulu buff. I would I would just make Lulu a 2-4. That'd be the I would just add in a point of health with all these other you like either a 3-3 three, three or a 2-4. I think that like basically every other uh three mana champion has like six total, right? Like they're like all uh, like three threes or Riven's a a three four. Lissandra's also a two three, but Lissandra has tough. Border from here. In Avarosa's name. Yeah, like Riven, the Blanc, those things have seven total. Mystical levitation requires concentration. My deck isn't really beating sweepers. I, I guess. It doesn't really make sense for me to try to play around sweepers because I don't I don't really beat them anyway. Like so, they they have like more avalanches and stuff. I'm not going to win anyway, so I don't think I play around it. I think I just I got to just go all out and you know play all the stuff and attack and everything. And if kind of good. I mean, it can just protect. Ah, they did. They found another avalanche, so you can just protect the Lulu, I suppose. But still, you know, we're not going to have enough now to kill them. Need another unit. Nope, I need another unit. Wow. No slowing down. Easy for you to say. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. Let's keep buffing up Lulu. Just going with the one that's the permanent buff and does a lot of damage. Lissandra's in tombs. That's the third Lissandra. Take nine. Do as I 
my command. I guess might as well. Every step, a new journey. This should just be the watcher attacking and killing me the next turn, of course. It's not even like a skill that like goes on the stack that you can deny. Um, obviously, I'm at a, a nine health though, so that doesn't help either. No, I want to do. Rollin, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate that. Yeah, we still have more Lulus. And uh, we still have more Lulus and Sorakas in the deck. So yeah, maybe we can find another Lulu or Soraka. That, so whenever they attack and obliterate our deck... Because they'll be able to cast this Watcher this very next turn. That is number three. And then we know that for sure that they have like the 7-7 seven, seven Challenger. Yeah, and then they also have this. So that will let them attack with two of those. And so I cannot stay alive. Okay, one and four. So with this deck, um, we didn't face any like the like the aggro decks. I think that's like where we can have some success. Maybe is against like Noxus aggro, like small unit aggro. I think that's where we could have some success with a deck like this. We're really kind of tuned towards that kind of deck, especially playing a card like Herald of Springs and having Guiding Touch and and uh, things like that. So I, like I think that you know Resplendent Stellicorn. I think you could find some success if you're playing against those small unit aggro decks. The um, the Sejuani deck went really big, so that one was was kind of tough because of like really big overwhelm, and of course they also have all those like those exhausts with the challenge. Like exhaust is pretty tough with the challengers, and then we played against three Targon decks that went really big. You know, like Tar Targon just plays like such a great late game. They have all the Celestials, they have all sorts of um, Equinoxes and Hush and all that kind of stuff, right? Like Tar Targon's going to be just a tough matchup for this kind of deck because this is a very very slow deck. Right, like it looks like we're like we have like we're a curve out deck that's really slow, and we just need to attack over and over and over and over and eventually um, have that wear down the opponent. And that's that's not a very successful game plan against Targon. And of course, it's not a very successful game plan against the Watcher either. With Watcher decks having all these avalanches, then kill all of our small stuff. So those are those are um, matchups that we just don't match up well against. But like sl slower. At, or like sorry smaller aggressive decks where we can play where we can have like our big large bodies really uh, get in the way with blocking and having our nexus healing and stuff like that like that's that's where we could have some success so i'm not sure of the like lulu and so basically that's the thing about lulu soraka you're it's going to be really t tough to play those two and still do well against the watcher and against celestials but Smaller unit decks, we can have success. And the one, the one, ta the one game that we won, it was a Targon deck, but they did play just tons of smaller units, and that was the the game that we won. This would maybe work better as Tarek instead of Soraka. Soraka does give you like a good amount of card advantage, and like the healing's kind of nice at points, but um, it's it's tough to have a fast clock with this kind of deck, where that's what we really need. You really need a fast clock. Yeah, you know, so you could use like Diana for Challenger. We were leveling up Lulu a whole lot. And we were having, and so, like, that was one thing that we did really well. We really did level up Lulu really well, and we were having help picks all the time. Um, I think I think I would recommend, at the very least, I think I wouldn't play Herald of Springs. The lifesteal never mattered. I would, but, like, we did have Herald of the Springs quite a bit, and we did attack with Herald of the Springs quite a bit. I recommend Tiari instead, because I think that adding in two extra health to some stuff can, can maybe ha have things help survive sweepers and things like that. The, the lifesteal never mattered, um, but 
but maybe Tiari uh, with that extra health would, would really help out. Yeah, you can get extra card draw with Pale Cascade and Guiding Touch for sure with uh, Tarek. Yep. So there we go. That was Lulu um, Soraka. That was our uh, our support deck there, Mountain Sojourner support. Mountain Sojourners looked good whenever it wasn't getting Equinoxed. Mountain Sojourners really did put in a lot of work for us. Um, yeah, that card was cool. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Those comments help out the channel. Um, you know, let me know what you think of the deck, or if you if you got other Lulu support or Soraka support decks, you know, feel free to uh, leave those comments. Let, let us know. If you got any ideas for this kind of deck, you know, leave those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Lulu Soraka. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.